This is a uh, Pertronix igniter, electronic ignition. It's great uh, upgrade for cars from the 50s, 60s, and early 70s that have a breaker or point style ignition. Um, this example here, I'm gonna I'm gonna briefly install this guy in this distributor. This example here happens to be a Buick nail head uh, distributor out of a 401. This will work for any any uh, car really, whether it's Ford, Chevy, Lincoln, Mercury, Chrysler, Dodge, Pontiac. It, it doesn't really matter. They're all they're all real similar. Some of these distributors are going to be a little different as far as where the advance is located, but the gist of it's about about the same. We're going to remove the breaker plates, and then we're going to take this sensor, and we're going to install it uh, inside there. So we'll remove the plate that holds the points, or the breakers, and then we'll re replace it with this plate here. So first thing we got to do is get the cap off. Alright, so here you can see the uh, points inside here on their plate. Also have a uh, capacitor here, or condenser. Uh, so the second step is to remove the rotor on top here and that will give us better access to the screws that are holding the uh, breaker plate inside the distributor. So get that guy out of the way. Okay, so inside here we're going to take uh, take the plate off. So it's got held in place with two screws. One here. One back here. We're going to keep these screws because we need those to install the uh, sensor for the electronic ignition. Alright, so we have an additional screw back here for the capacitor or condenser. Alright, so at this point, normally, you would cut these wires. You don't, you don't need these wires. The two wires here are what you're going to need to to run your electronic ignition. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to keep this the way it is for now. But I will show you how uh, how to install this uh, plate here in place of the breaker plate. So what you want to look for is you want to look for these two raised up bumps here. What they are going to do is they are going to line up with the outer two holes of these three holes here. So you line those up and that's going to put your sensor in just the right position relative to the octagon that it needs to pick up off of in order to fire the ignition. So you put this screw in this guy here, screw that one in, screw this guy in here, and that one goes in the middle. Alright, so now, now you've got the sensor installed, and it's going to pick up on the corners of this octagon as that spins around, and that's what's going to fire each of your cylinders, each of your spark plugs. So you would run this guy, these two wires, down through the hole, down through the grommet here, and you're going to need to run one of them to your keyed ignition and one to the coil, which will essentially fire the coil, right? And so then, one thing to note um, about these sensors is that they can have trouble if they're not matched to the right resistance coil. So make sure that uh, when you buy your uh, electronic ignition setup that you read through the notes and the instructions and make sure that you're using the right coil. If you don't have the right coil, these things can burn up prematurely. So after this, just take, reinstall your rotor 
pre-install your cap and you're good to go of course you need to redo your uh, timing you'll need to reset the timing on your engine and that's it